All right, this is our second snow this year. Uh, they say it's fixing to get even harder than this. This is out here at night. Uh, we don't hardly ever see snow in Alabama. This is twice in two weeks that we've had a pretty good snow. It's coming here at, at night this time. Last time it wrecked all the roads. Some big fat flakes falling. I'll take some more pictures tomorrow morning. They come back out in a little while if it gets harder. Flakes are getting bigger. Good morning. Thought I'd come out and shoot a quick video of our snowstorm last night. I know it ain't nothing compared to what y'all have up north, but again, here in Alabama, it's a unusual thing here. We had a couple of inches last night. It's not but like 31 degrees, 32 degrees. It just barely was cold enough for it to stick. It's pretty this morning. Roads aren't iced up. They say some of the bridges and overpasses may be. But uh, we even have blue skies this morning. I'm going to ease out of here in a minute and head to work. All right. See y'all later. All right. This is... Alabama headhunter. Uh, several of y'all have shared knives here lately. I thought I'd do the same. Uh, do my pocket knives first. This is called uh, it's a case. They call them sunfishes or elephant toes. I've heard them called both. That's a big old folder. That's a pretty old knife there. And this is a modern case knife. Uh, I like the knife, but the metal is not what it used to be. This, these things, the steel ain't what it used to be. It's a pretty good knife to tote in your pocket. And this, this is a Puma. Called a four star mini. This is one of their modern pocket knives. This is a Puma. Uh, once again, this is a modern knife and the metal is just not what it used to be. The blade is good, but the metal here, this was just in my drawer and you can see how it started pitting. It's a Medici. Here's some of my sheath knives. This is a little Puma that I got a few years ago. That's an old knife. Uh, 
it probably did not come with the stag carved in the handle. I think whoever owned it at one time did that. But that's a pretty cool knife. And here's a little case triple X. Um, if you notice my knives are used, I don't collect them to be collecting them. I, I, I buy them and use them. But, uh, that's just a, I don't carry this one. I'd rather carry a pocket knife than this. And this is a Puma Wade Bistec. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, if you can read that on there or not. But this is a fairly old knife. When I got it, I thought the blade had been broken off and resharpened. But that's actually the way the blade is made on this knife. This is a Parker Edwards. Uh, it's made out of Damascus steel. It's hard to see the grain in it. Uh, you can see it pretty good. But this this knife is ma was made in uh, Jacksonville, Alabama. That's where they make uh, the Damascus steel. I know you've seen C.O. Blade Smith make some knives out of Damascus, and he was telling me that that's where. He had gotten some of it. That's just like 30, 40 miles from here where I live. I've had this knife for 30 years. Here's a newer Puma. Pro Skinner. It's got some pretty good metal in it. That's made out of olive wood. But to me, even though it's a Puma, it's not the quality of their older knives. I still like it. And this is a Case Pawnee. I've had this knife for about 35 years. Now this thing here will hold an edge like no knife I've ever owned besides my Puma White Hunter. But I've, I've carried this knife probably more than any other that I own and used it a bunch. And this is a K-Bar Uh, next door to my shop, there's a Army Surplus store, and people are always coming in and buying and selling. And the guy next door didn't want this knife, and he walked next door, and I bought this knife for like ten bucks. Uh, kind of big and bulky for me, but it's still a pretty cool knife. Has the USMC on it. And this knife, or uh, what do you call it? Uh, bayonet. I found this knife. Uh, I was out airhead hunting one day and we were leaving the field going down a dirt road and this knife and its sheath right there were laying in the road. Same day I found this, I found a folding knife out in the field hunting arrowheads uh, from around the Civil War time. It was rusted away, but the bone handles were still there. I lost it before I got 
to the car, I don't know how, and found that one. I found this knife arrowhead hunting. This is a copy of a World War I trench knife. Let me get hold of this thing. Well, this thing, when you got it in your hand, holding it right. You got bright, you got knuckles that you can bust somebody in the head. You got a ball that you can crack their skull with. And you got this double-edged blade that you can gut them with. <laughs> but uh, that's a that's a pretty wicked blade there. It was laying on the side of the road again, where it's right there where we parked to go hunting arrowheads. And. This sword is uh, Wilkinson. I've had it for about 30 years too. It's uh, just uh, nothing special. It's just a pretty cool knife. Uh, it leans up against my fireplace. But it says on it. Let's see here. You can see that or not. It's upside down. It's by appointment to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, Sword Cutler's Wilkinson Sword, London, made in England. Uh, I'd like to know something about this sword if anybody knows anything. It's a pretty neat piece. It's got that fancy stuff all up and down the blade on one side. And I guess my favorite knife right now is this one. I'll trade hands again. This is my Puma White Hunter. Wrong way but button. Uh, how about this knife used? Uh, some of the ones that I was looking at when I was buying them were so nice and so fancy that I really didn't want them because I like to use my knives. It's got the little serrations on the blade right there. Oh, now this thing here will hold an edge. That blade there is razor sharp. But uh, this has actually became my favorite knife to carry. I love the blade. I love the way it's shaped. To me, these are, I don't know, they're almost a sexy knife to me. <laughs> I don't know. It's a beautiful blade, though. But I just thought I would share my knife collection with y'all. And that's it. I've got a bunch more knives, but these are, are my favorites. Oops, I forgot one. This is a case pocket knife. My emblem fell out of it at some time in its life. It's made of Alabama Damascus also. I probably carry this pocket knife more than any pocket knife I've ever carried. Bone handles. I've had this knife for 30 plus years. But I hope y'all enjoyed the knife show. Uh, hope I can get back and have y'all some artifacts to show you soon.
I'll see y'all later. Alabama Headhunter.